Hi folks. Well, uh, I'm riding in the car with Janine. And we're going to Mbaha. And originally we were just gonna do some food shopping and a couple of things. Now we were going to go two days ago. Two days ago we were gonna go. But uh, the car wouldn't start. And it looks like it was a, a dead battery. And you know, it just wouldn't didn't have enough juice to start the car. Even though I I measured I measured it with a multimeter and it said it had 12.3 volts. And I would have thought that would be enough. You know, I would have thought that it'd be enough to, to start the car, but I guess not. Uh, anyway, it was a real big problem because the way the car was parked, we couldn't jump start it. Uh, we couldn't jump start the car because Park the opposite direction, and my jumper cable is not that long. So I got a hold of a friend of mine, and, and he sent his driver over. And the driver had a friend that said we could charge the battery. You know, the, 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 his, the, the friend's friend would charge the battery and so we could get the car started that way. So we got the battery charged and, and by then of course it was too late to go anywhere. Yeah, yours. Merry Christmas. By then it was too late to go anywhere. So, we didn't stay at home that night. Then, we, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't go the next day either. Yesterday we didn't go. We decided we'd go today, so we got up fairly early. And, uh, to start the car. Start. So I'm not sure what's going on because the battery that's in the car, this battery is only less than three years old. And the battery shouldn't go bad in, in three years. Uh, in the USA, any battery I ever bought would last for you know at least five years and more like seven. But Of course, I don't know if it's the battery or not. There could be some kind of a short in the electrical system that, that's causing the causing the battery to drain. That's a possibility. Anyway, so the first thing we have to do is go to the mechanic. And let's see, I, I hope he's got, he's got time. I hope he's got time to uh, Help us. I hope he's got time to help us. Uh, right now here in the Philippines it's January 29, 2019. So a couple of days is going to be New Year's Eve. going on with uh, 
the immigration offices here in the Philippines. Now, in the Philippines, when you first come in, they give you an automatic one-month visa. And then, you can apply for two-month extension. But they, they make you get a card, an ACRI card, and I'm not sure what the uh, purpose of that card is, except to maybe, you know, charge foreigners some, some money, uh, but you got to have that card, and I already have the card, but they have varying lengths of visa extensions. And the one I've been doing is the six-month extension. Well, I was told that there is no more six-month extensions. Uh, that they're only doing two-month extensions. And I, I asked, I asked a woman at the immigration office if that was a new national policy, and she said she didn't know. But at that office, they're only allowed to do two-month extensions, not not a six-month extension. And that's a problem because, you know, I, I really don't want to have to get an extension every two months. That's, that wouldn't be much fun. And it's also more expensive in the long run to get a two-month extension than it, would be, than it was to get the six-month extension. It was less, expens less expensive per month. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But if I can only get two-month extensions here in the Philippines, that means I have to go to the immigration office six times a year seems to me that they wouldn't want that because, you know, it's going to make things a lot more crowded in, in the offices. Anyway, so that's all that's going on, so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.